Tonight, we're hearing from a man who says he survived an attack that left a fellow inmate dead. We recently told you how the father of Marcus Pearson Jr. said he was unable to get answers for two years after someone stabbed his son to death at Telfer State Prison. Jessica Cha talked to a man who says he was there when it happened and he was stabbed repeatedly in that attack that led to Pearson's death. I'm standing in front of the home of Scotty Hill, who was in Telfer State Prison with Marcus Pearson Jr. He says he was attacked and stabbed eight times by the same people who were involved in the fight that led to Pearson's death. None of it was intended for me or him, but he lost his life that day. Scotty Hill says he knows Marcus Pearson because they both grew up in Macon. Yeah. Hill says he was serving 20 years for aggravated assault, which got reduced to five. He and Pearson were reunited at Telfair State Prison, where they saw each other often. We have a lot of conversations in the room, inside the room. Just me and him, we used to talk about like what we're going to do when we come home and stuff like that. Hill remembers the day Marcus died. Hill's roommate was asked to come to another inmate's cell to talk. Hill and Pearson followed. And he was right behind me and like he like kind of like gave me like a, a push in the back. When I look back at Marcus and look back forward, guys, it was uh, the guy was running back out of out of the room. My roommate also was, too. And that's like that's when I start getting stabbed. Hill says he was stabbed in the neck, back and arms. He still carries the scars to this day. He says no guards were in the room and had to call for help 30 minutes later. He believes that delay made a difference. I know for sure he probably wouldn't have died because, I mean, they come pretty fast and, you know. Hill only had 11 days left on his sentence and got out soon after the attack. Since the fight, he says he hasn't heard from the prison. Mark is the only one who lost his life in now with 14 months left to go home and they don't want to talk about it. But Hill says he felt like he needs to share what happened. In Macon, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. Oconee District Attorney Tim Vaughn says three men were indicted for felony murder in the attack on Marcus Pearson Jr. Meanwhile, the U.S. Justice Department is in the middle of an investigation into spikes of violence inside Georgia's prisons. But the U.S. Department of Justice says the Georgia Department of Corrections is not cooperating and they plan to take them to court.